Laura here and welcome to Guru. Today we are going to do a review and try it out of our supplies from this store called Miniso Japan. Miniso is like a variety kind of store, just like the Flying Tiger and Sustrena in Green and it has a lot of couple of really cool things and a lot of interesting designs. If I, I remember, I think the CEO and yes, the CEO is Chinese, and the other CEO is Japanese. All the products are designed in Japan, but manufactured in China. So I had the opportunity to visit one of those stores when I was in Germany a couple of months or years ago. I don't know. I don't remember. So I pick up a couple of their stuff that I can actually make a pretty nice review about it. And now we are going to try it out together. So let's go. Today we will start trying out our supplies from the store Miniso Japan. So we will start with the sketch pad, the flocking bird sketch pad. This is not technically a sketchbook per se. It has 10 different designs, they repeat through the entire book and you cannot actually draw anything in there besides the designs who are already printed in the pages. I found out the paper was really truly nice for drawing or for coloring in this case and I have no complaints about that. The ink that I use for coloring in this paper actually didn't bleed which I was very happy at. One of my personal concerns every time I buy a sketchbook is the fact that it's always bleeding to the next page and that bugs me around all the time. So if you really want a budget sketchbook and well it's not a sketchbook, a budget coloring book for your kids or even for yourself, this is a good solution. If I I remember correctly it goes between the four to six euros the next product I decided to try was the highlighters the erasable highlighters they come in three different colors yellow pink and orange my favorite I have to say it was the yellow one the pink did the work very very lousy I have to say the erasing part was actually not there as you can see it let a residue on my page which it bothers me and when it comes to the orange one kind of did the same thing but the only one who actually erased completely the residue was the yellow one so if I have to buy the pack of three just to get one of this highlighters to work correctly I don't think it's a good idea to buy a full pack of three just to get one pen who works perfectly correct. Product that I'm very pleasantly surprised is the double sided markers. These ones are 12 different colors and they are from orange to black. And I have to admit, I'm very happy with them because they're double sided. One tip is bigger than the other one, which makes it very nice to color or to even use for your bullet journaling. I use it here in a sketch pad to see if they transfer the pages and I was pretty happy of about that they don't transfer. But yeah, my biggest but is the fact that the stroking every time you put a stroke in the paper actually you can see the strokes in your paper and you know how I feel about that. I will like if I buy a pen that if I stroke it twice next to each other, you cannot see the tracking of the inking from the first stroke. So I think personally it's better for using it for writing or for lettering or for anything that you are not bothering as much. Like for coloring, I will not suggest this product. But the price is incredible. I think I pay five, no, I think I pay 50 cents for it. I heard about this kind of pens that is supposed to be like the ones Muji has, 
personally, I cannot compare them because we don't have a Muji here in Austria. Uh, but a Muji try on our supplies is coming. And well, I got three different pens from Miniso, three year pens. Two of them are blue and one of them is black. The stroking seems very nice. I don't have any complaints. It just looks like a normal ball pen. Nothing to complain about. If I remember correctly, this one goes two for one euro, I think. And they all come in the same basket where you can find the pens that I mentioned it early. I decided to give a try to this really thin uh, marker, black marker, and it's 0 0.5 uh, millimeters. And I think the stroking was perfectly alright. Nothing to complain. Not impressive, but it's fine for what you're paying for it. The price was one euro. The next product that leave me very, very sad about it was the crayons, the erasable crayons. I got a pack of 12 and I was telling myself, okay, this is an awesome idea if they are erasable and if they really truly really work. This could be a brilliant a brilliant product for you for using with your kids the sad part is as much as they have 12 no 24 colors and it makes it so nice the price is super nice um, my biggest issue with it was the fact that first they feel very plasticky second one you need to press the crayon very much to the piece of paper for being able to have a complete uniform stroke in your pens and your and your paper and for somehow i felt like the stroking was there the quality was not there i was expecting a more creamy crayons and when it comes to the erasable part i can see there was still some residue in my piece of paper so i ended up feeling very disappointed about this product. The star of this R supply haul from Miniso is definitely the color pants. These are like something I saw in Japan who are kind of like gel crayons and I was not expecting that. I thought they were when I bought them I seriously thought they were markers but like thicker markers and I found out they are so extremely creamy, extremely to the point that you feel when the crayon is melting in the paper. It's just like a sensation I cannot explain to you. I put one of my colleagues to use the pens and she was like, oh my god, where do you get this? They were, they are so amazing and I think they're perfect to use in any kind of situation. The biggest issue I have with them is the color transfer. You need to be very careful under what surface you are using this crayon creamy stuff <laughs> because it actually likes to transfer to your pieces of furniture. I was using it on my table. My table is white and it was a stroking of different particles of this crayon flooring around my table and if I did it quite like clean it quickly it probably will stain my table like it happened with the other table I was working before it, this one so that's my only complaint about them besides that I think they are the most amazing product and the most amazing pair of crayons I ever had in my entire life my biggest disappointment about the 12 of them was the white color as you can see you can barely see it when you work in black which was like a bit of disappointment for i was very disappointed about the situation because the older ones are so amazing that i couldn't bear myself to think that the white one was the one who was just not going to be work the same as the rest so but besides that i will completely buy this all over again i think they're amazing and if you have kids who love to draw or who like coloring books and stuff like that i would suggest you to get this for them they will love it as much as i love them 
the last thing I got from Miniso was the watercolor pens. They come 24 of them, they are mini mini sizes. It kind of reminds me to the mini sizes of Sharpie we have back in Latin America and I think they are amazing. The fact that it comes in this awesome box is like, it looks like heaven when you open it, it looks like a candy, <laughs> candy. <laughs> but um, I didn't try it with water because sadly I don't have like a water brush to use them. But perhaps in the near future I should do only a review only about them. As markers, I have to say they work way better than the double side markers, the 12 ones with the 12 colors. This ones work way better. The stroking is way nicer. They don't bleed through the paper. And the fact that you have so many colors in one single package makes it easy to travel around and if they really say they really work with water, something that we're going to try in the near future, then I think it's the perfect thing to carry on with you if you just want to throw around outside your home. But my only but is that some of these colors don't actually match with the color of the tube. And if it, that bothers you, perhaps these are not the color the colors for you. I would suggest you to, to go for the previous ones, the crayons, the creamy crayons, because those are amazing. In conclusion, mini, mini, uh, in conclusion, I could say Miniso Japan has very nice products for very, very awesome prices. The packaging is always on point, I have to say. I think the sketchbook was misleading. You shouldn't call something a sketchbook when it's not a sketchbook, when it's a color. You should call it coloring book. That's the title of it. When it comes to the watercolor pens, I think they're amazing. And the products that I will completely buy all over again be the color pants. The ones that look like crayons, the screamy crayons were my absolute favorite from the entire thing. And I suggest you, if you have a mini so close to you, to really go there and try it out. And if you like, like really, if you like our supplies, I will completely recommend you to go to Miniso, try it out their different lines, and choose what it will work for you the best. For me, I love our supplies, so I will continue buying them. If we had a Miniso here in Austria, sadly we don't. So I would like to try more products from them. I will suggest you to go to the nearest Miniso and try them out by yourself. Well, that was everything for today. So if you have a mini so close to you, just please tell me in the comments. I would like to know what part of the world you're living and if you have a mini so close to you. And if you like more videos like this, help me with a thumbs up. Give, <laughs> leave a comment down below full of love. And see you next time. Stay groovy. Bye.